Today's the day uh, that we are going to create a contour line drawing. And in the past, I have compared contour line drawings. What's another word for contour? 3D. Well, before you add shadows to make it 3D, it's just the basic outline. outline. Yes, it looks like a coloring book page. And that's what it is. Um, so yesterday what we did was draw our rule of thirds grid on this 11 by 15 inch piece of paper. We labeled it with our name. We taped it to the board because this is gonna be a watercolor. And last night we practiced drawing those um, Christmas presents um, in proportion from the little sheet onto the photocopy. And that was to practice for today. And where do I start drawing? The background, the middle ground, or the foreground? Background. You are correct. So I can see right here and I can actually go ahead and outline this so I can see where the exact line is and what I think it does. And that way I know there's the line I'm going to draw. It starts about halfway here. And am I going to draw light or dark? Light. light. Right. Very lightly, just kind of planning this out so that when I go to paint this, I can enjoy the painting process instead of thinking about where is this object located. So I have my line now for where my mountaintop is. The next object in front of the mountain in this image would be some of these, not this palm tree, because this palm tree is in front of this building right here. Uh, some of these palm trees are in front of this bush right here, and this bush comes to about right here. So I am just going to mark it off that there is a bush right here, and I'm going to mark off that there is a palm tree that comes out right about here. I do know that this palm tree comes up over, and again, I'm very lightly marking this out just so that I can plot it out in proportion. This tree starts over here. I'll put that in front of that building later, and it comes up to here and down over here. I'm just going to mark it off. Notice I'm not drawing any details. I'm making myself a cup, basically a contour line drawing, which is I should say basically a coloring book for myself, but instead of coloring, are we gonna be coloring this with crayons? No. 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 What are we gonna be doing with this? Watercolor. Yeah, we're gonna be painting with our watercolor. This little object is right here. So I'm looking at basic shapes when I draw. Are the lines diagonal? Are they vertical? There's a shadow on the ground here, just under the line. There is a kayak here. I'm gonna draw my water line because I know my water line comes up to about, I'd say about halfway down here. Go back to this building and this structure is vertical and it comes across horizontally and it stops about here. It goes back on a diagonal, comes down and there's the huge, I'm gonna call that like a balcony it looks like a balcony because it looks like it's above ground level. And that comes all the way across and there's an angle right over here that comes up for this structure. Here's the diagonal roof line. And I'm just really trying to plot out where all of these objects are located. Are they above that rule of thirds line? Are they below it? How high above it? How far below it? What angle are they on? This comes down here. And actually, this could come back here a little more. And then there's a bush. I'm going to say more in the middle here. And the stems or the roots, uh, the, the trunks of this come here. This comes up here. So I'm going to say this one's a little taller than I originally had planned it to be. So again, I am not drawing any details. Like all of the little leaves on the palm tree, I'm going to do those in paint. I'm just trying to draw location of objects and the correct angle of them. And there's a bush here, there's a shadow on the ground in here, this is lighter, this comes over here. Here's this bush in the foreground, it comes over this balcony that we drew and it stays on the right side of that line and this kind of comes over into this area. There is a little sea boat right there. It's a little um, sailboat. I think they're called sunfish sailboats. And the reason I know that is because this is part of Keneal Bay, a hotel that is in St. John. Unfortunately, though, I think it got 
destroyed in the hurricane that came through. And I'm not sure if I remember what the name of was that hurricane. And there's some windows in here. And do I need to draw every single detail or just suggest that where these windows are? I'm just suggesting everything. That's what a good painter does. A, a painter looks at things and translates it to how they see it. So I'm gonna suggest some windows there. There's this here, and I love this sailboat that's in front of it. That sailboat starts right on the line. It overlaps the window I see right here. It comes down on a diagonal, and it comes down to about right here on this line. So there's that. Here's my red. Here's my red part again. And if you look at my eyes, my eyes are looking at the drawing more than, I mean the image more than I'm looking at my drawing. So there's those red lines there. There's a couple green spots here for some kayaks. There's a kayak right underneath. I'd say more on an angle this way. And there's another kayak right here. And the bottom of the Sunfish sailboat comes almost on an angle here, across here. There it is. I know that there's a bunch of kayaks lined up here. Bless you. And there's a line right here. I line it up. I'm going to say it's just to the right of the tree, to the left of the edge of the building. Here's a post for the building. Here's a post for the building. There's a tree approximately right here. And this palm tree comes just above the line. So do you see how this rule of thirds grid is going to help you create your contour line drawing? Yes. Do you all, if you don't have your image printed today, I would suggest finishing this first, then heading down to the computer lab to go get this sent to me so I can print in color for you. And um, otherwise, once you're done with this, you may start your contour line drawing today. But please take out those practice drawings first from last night so I can check those off. Any questions? Y'all got it? Mm -hmm. All right. We'll see you soon.